we start with James May, who has been driving a Kia hatchback. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets to drive around the best bits of Europe in a Bugatti and you get a Kia. You can shut up, Hammond. <laughs> because if you remember rightly, you were supposed to go and drive the Kia hatchback, but you couldn't because you can't drive round corners without crashing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. New Highway Code's come along and it says now that they advise you don't smoke while behind the wheel. Why? I mean, us three all smoke, OK? So nothing to be proud of. The fact is that we all do, and we don't crash. Well, two of us don't, so... <laughs> Actually, I've given up smoking as well, mate. Well, there you are. You, you can't do to. two things at once. <laughs> <laughs> what I find funny, it is the first track, I think, you've ever driven round extensively and not hit anything. Yes. God, I didn't. And, you, and your car is the correct way up. I think we can oh, thank all, you. Thank we you. can all applaud that, thank ladies you. and gentlemen. Richard Hammond. Many years we've done this, and uh, I'm delighted. Normally, to a paramedic <laughs> would now be cutting off his trousers. Yep. Yep. And he'd be going to the hospital. I'd be on the phone to his wife. Hi, Mindy. Yeah, I know. Again. I, he's done it again. I've got some of the questions, and I'd like to share some of the questions BBC employees have to face with you. Okay, you ready? We'll bring them up on the screen here. You have a blowout on the motorway. One for you here, Hammond. What instinctive reaction? <laughs> what instinctive reaction should you avoid? Accelerating. Well, oh, my tyre's is... gone. <laughs> this is instinctive Taking reaction. Taking your hands off the steering wheel. Well, that'll help. It's just maniacs. They're just. I'm so irritated by this. I can't believe it. And then. I've got a better idea. What? Why don't we say to people they can put in bids yeah. to put their logo on the bottom of Richard Hammond's car? Because chances <laughs> are they'll be lucky. Like... <laughs> yes. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Imagine the commentary. And here comes Richard Hammond. Oh no, he's gone off. Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> But I was driving in the pouring rain at Spa. You were at Abu Dhabi, bone dry and with eight mile runoffs on all the corners. Look, fact is the 918 can handle its power better. Its dribble of power? Well, it's barely got enough to get out of its own way. And how do you know that? Because you haven't driven the Porsche. Because Porsche won't let me. Yes, because they know, Jennifer, you can't drive in a straight line. We've seen it. At least I didn't write a book about it. Look, well, no, you're trying to milk the moment. That's enough, 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 enough. Yes, you find the speed at which the cars don't come off and then you just watch them. What you're doing at that point is watching electricity happen. Yes. <laughs> Well, I can see why you were disappointed in it, Hammond. You put an electric car on a racetrack and the next thing you know, you've crashed. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit tight. That was... Oh! That wasn't even in the back, that was in the <laughs> face! And we worked out that Yorkshire is the only place on Earth where all three of us have had a car crash. <laughs> Susan, what, what was yours? Uh, Triumph 2500 rolled over. Yeah, Hammond? Uh, my first car. And uh, my second car. My mum's car. <laughs> my dad's car. My third and fourth cars. My first four motorcycles. The Radio York Radio Van. The Radio Leeds <laughs> Radio Car. And the Jet Powered Dragster. Oh, yes. <laughs> what? What are you on about? <laughs> Men can't take their jumpers off like women do. They're crossing their arms. What? I can do that. Well, you're not a man. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I, I take my jumper off. That's how you take a jumper off, like that. You, you, how do you know? You just wait for the paramedics to come along, cut it off after your accident. <laughs> that's, that's how you take a jumper off. I don't know what you're talking about. So, do you remember the RIMAC we had in programme one of yep. this season? There yep. it is. Yeah. Yep. Well, they've announced there is a new one coming out. Well, what happened to that one? Well, <laughs> <laughs> No, that was, that was called the Concept One. Mm -hmm. um, they only made eight of those, actually. How many are left? Seven. Shut up. <laughs> what happened to the other one, Just, just stop saying things. The new one is going to be called the Concept Two, and amazingly, they're saying it's going to be even faster. Than, and that was no, a blind. I actually faster. don't believe that you can make a car go faster. Well, they say it's going to be faster, and it's a bit bigger inside. There'll be more Which room. you didn't need, because that one was quite yeah, cramped. You can fit in this one. I could fit in the last one. You'd be less like Spam, though, if you rolled it over and over and over. <laughs> It should be more dangerous, you're right. We've actually got a picture of the, of the new Concept 2. Here it is, Hammond, you'll like this. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Look what you did to the tyre. <laughs> Look. No, it wasn't me. 
No, it wasn't. You see, the thing is, OK, you know you go on the track, you turn the traction control off in a car, OK? Well, James doesn't. No, James doesn't, but a normal person turns the traction control off, right? Yes. The problem is this has so much torque that if you even gently put your foot on the throttle, it just spins the rear tyres up. That's the result. No, that's because you were driving like an animal out. No, I had a blowout, right? And that, that's the point. I had a blowout, I held it. I didn't go on Fern and Phil's sofa talking about my near-death experience. <laughs> Yeah. I took it like a man, frankly. <laughs> all right. All right, can we find out how fast it goes around the track now? No. But this is the car that started it all. This is the car that gave them that all-important first win. Now, obviously, with a pedigree like that, it's quite valuable, around £14 million. So when we asked the insurers if this would be OK, they said, yes, but not the accident-prone little midget. It must be Captain Slowly. So let's see if I can make this thing live for you. Now I know what it's like to be Richard Hammond. Thanks, chaps. Have you ever fallen out of a car? No. Well, there you are. Actually, I've never... I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, driving down the M40, here's a half but I've, I've fallen out. With his tyre covers made, Hammond decided not to hold back. This is going to be... I mean, seriously, he's going to get to that corner and then... Where can the helicopter land? <laughs> Hammond's lap's going well. Yeah, isn't it? So which corner is that he's gone off on? I mean, obviously, is him. Amazingly, it wasn't. <laughs> I just, I just don't know how it happened. We, we do. do. We know exactly how it happened. History has taught us you can't drive in a straight line. <laughs> and now we've seen you can't drive around a corner either. <laughs> Any minute now, a paramedic will be cutting his trousers off. You should Ready? have taken them off before he got in. Uh, Joe, I don't know why he wears trousers. Here right? we go. Ready? In three, two. <laughs> oh, I've ruined my Ferrari. I hit a bollard. Luckily, though, my colleagues didn't make a big deal of it. Hammond, look out for that signpost dead ahead of you. Hammond, careful. Block of flats on the right. Please kill me. <clears throat> Breaking a Ferrari is a, an especially bad thing. It's like kicking a rabbit. Hammond, when we get on the motorway, you'll be driving quite fast, maybe 70 miles an hour. You'll really need to concentrate there. They're never going to give up. Sure enough, the abuse kept on coming. Right Two down, big down. metal Sorry, pillars, down. Hammond. Don't you see the? Don't mind that. That way. You're all right. We had a call the other day from a Chinese car manufacturer called Neo, and they said we have built a blisteringly fast all-electric supercar, and would one of you like to try it out? Yeah, now, after his escapade going up a Swiss hill in a blisteringly fast all-electric supercar, Richard Hammond said that he really didn't think he was the man for the job. However, it turned out that the car was only available for one day, and unfortunately, on that day, I had the boiler man coming round. Yep. <laughs> and I had a dental appointment? D dentist. Dental yeah. appointment, yeah. Yep, so, guess what? <laughs> Here it is. It's called the EP9. And it's pretty clear that this is no Nissan Leaf. Because a Leaf doesn't have giant head restraints to stop G-forces from snapping your neck during hard cornering. And that's just the start of it. What I have here is a comparison between this Neo EP9 and the Rimac Concept 1, in which I had my little um, tumble down a Swiss mountain side. It's like driving a jet engine. Something else about which I have bad memories. 
This is a bad place. I have actually got you a present, Hammond. Me? Yeah? yeah, it's in a presentation box. Here it is. The, the box is broken, and I apologise for that. But there it is. Check it out. It's a ruined watch. Not just any ruined watch, it's your ruined watch. Is it? Yeah, that has been retrieved from the wreckage of the car that you destroyed with your incompetence. <laughs> And that survived the fire. It's actually still... It does look pretty, I admit, but it, it's still working. Well, that's actually quite a nice present, in a way, isn't it? Exactly. And they've written a little thing on the box, made in Switzerland, and then carefully perfected on the 10th of June 2017 by the British. <laughs> they, don't, they don't mean perfected, do they? No, and they don't mean British, they mean you, <laughs> is what they it's mean. It's actually quite a mean present, after all. Well, look, Hammond, I've got you something. I have got you... A pair of running shoes, and I've added to them the logo of your favourite local car maker. And you can't say you don't like that. You love running. You go running every morning. I've seen you go running in the evening as well. I cannot <laughs> wear those. Why not? Because uh, I'm not allowed to run anymore. I broke my leg. What's still oh, go going on about it? <laughs> it's all he talks about. Me, my leg, me, my leg. <laughs> we bought you those presents. Two of them. I've got you uh, another present here. Look at that. An alarm clock. Made it must it's beautifully styled. Right, I'm gonna set no, it. No, it's all oh, funny, it's crashed. I see. It's a crashed ha, ha, upside down ha, ha, car ha, on top, ha, that's why it's ha, yours. Ha, ha, ha. Right, I'm just setting it now. There you go. Now pretend to be asleep. What? Don't oh. worry. Oh, just right. pretend to be asleep. This yes. is on your bedside okay. table. I'm asleep. <laughs> ah! There it is. Christ! <laughs> it's going off. Right. Yes! Well, that's... Come on! <laughs> I can't have that. That'll... That'll just set fire. You've got my glasses. That'll just set fire to everything on my bed. So... Sorry. Oh, God! <laughs> it's not me that's on fire this time! I miss! I've got my glasses. I can't wake up to that every morning. When you're driving along and your car catches fire, which you will, cos you'll have crashed it... <laughs> You'll be used to it, cos you have to put a fire out every single morning. Yes, I won't have slept for a year waiting for an explosion next to my bed. Stop <laughs> going on and moaning about all the presents we've it's given you. It's traumatising. Look, I have bought you a pair of trousers. There what? You go. Yep. Oh, thank you, James. Very nice. Yes, Not just love. any old trousers. No, they've got, they've got all Velcro on them. What's that about? Well, it means paramedics won't have to cut your clothes off. <laughs> you, <laughs> and you'll save a fortune over the coming year, you see.